it's another Saturday. It's not bad weather out. We're going to have thunderstorms. And it's uh, not too hot, which is important. It's been a well over 100 degrees for the last few days, and I just couldn't get anything done. What, I, what I've done is I've taken my uh, turtle wax light polishing compound, which is right here. I had to actually put this inside because it all turned to fluid when I tried to open it. It's a light to medium cleaner, and I'm using a little buff that you can buy at an auto parts store. What I'm doing is I'm going over the back, and I've already gone over the front with a light with the light polish and what, basically what the polish is doing it creates friction it's a very fine sand and wax inside it the wax only holds the sand together it's not not there to polish as I rub in circles around and around and around I am um, trying to put some heat on the on the paint and actually melt the top one thousandths of an inch or hundred thousandths of an inch. It's all you had to do just to melt the top to where it's one solid sheen like a uh, like a mirror. Now I, I noticed something on my bike and I want to show you. Um, with this front here I have used the uh, the wax and I've also used a cleaner wax which, uh, where did I put the damn thing? It's Oh it's this. This cleaner wax which is the next step. It's just a more finer polish, but I got a crack in it, so I got to leave it there. Anyway, I use a different pad, and I've used the cleaner wax, and I've washed off this wet rag. I've washed off all the grit from the heavier polishing compound right here, and then I use the cleaner wax, which is basically a little bit of wax with finer sand in it. What I want to point out is this. I know the light's not real good. Um, we're not done yet. Once I get it to where I want it, I will put on a carnauba wax, which I have a can of it that I've had for years. But if you look real closely right here, I don't know if you can see it. Right here is a run. Okay, where I put the clear on, and I can feel it right there, and you can see it. Okay? Now, the point I'm trying to make is that if you have a run right here and your and your panel is not totally smooth, waxing polishing will not take that out at all. You it won't. If you have any flaws in the paint, any high spots, low spots, um, cracks, anything like that, then the uh, the polishing will not take it out. And of course, as you polish, you'll, I don't know if you can see my hands right up here in the finish. Old hands, but I still feel 17. Or down here. Well, it's not, not a very good, but you, if you can see your hands just like a mirror, then you know you're, you know, you know you're pretty close. Or you see a reflection, then you know you're pretty close. After I get done using the finish wax, the cleaner wax, and the polish, what I will do is take these panels off, I will take them into my kitchen, and I will get all the grit and everything off them, and even in the back, as you can see, like right down here, it's in the back, you can see it on my hands. Okay, if you get wax on that, and you get that on your panel, you're just going to dull the panel. I mean, if we get one, once we put on the finish wax. Now, of course, you can't do that with a car panel or something you can't take off, but this is 10, year, 10 years old um, paste wax from somewhere. And this is what I use on, the, on my finished product here. You can see it's, uh, it kind of looks like hash. I mean, that's what I've seen in the pictures anyway. Pictures, right. All right, so I'm going to keep polishing the rear right now. Then I'm going to wipe it off with a wet, wet towel. Then I'm going to go to the cleaner wax, which is this uh, Meguiar's, with another buff, 
Don't you never use the same butt because you're just going to use the same grit and it's just going to make it as dull as hell. For every um, form of polish that you use, the finer you get, you always want to remember never use the previous polished buffs. That's what oh, that's what I call them as buffs. Otherwise, you're you're not shining the thing out. Okay, I'm going to keep going. My hands hurt, and Saturday, and I'm going to have surgery in a month. Hopefully, they'll fix my hands. But I'm still having fun. I haven't driven it in a couple weeks, and I really want to drive her.